Not since Brad dumped Jennifer for Angelina has a marital split been as public as this year's exposure of the Johnny Depp and Amber Heard breakup shown to the world in a news-consuming courtroom drama. Brad and Angelina admitted they fell in love while he was still married to Jennifer. And in a backstabbing interview, Brad blamed Jennifer in a backhanded kind of way by saying he was a wandering wastrel until Angelina came into his life. As far as Johnny and Amber are concerned, the truth is out there now for anyone willing to watch it or read about it. As nasty as those splits were, at least they weren't as bad as the O.J. Simpson split with Nicole Brown that ended with her murder. Whether literal or figurative, the world is filled with accounts of backstabbing people betraying one another. Previously, we noted how the go-along king, Joe Ash, took up with the evil politicians of his day very quickly after the death of his mentor, Jehoiada. After pushing the priest to restore the temple, he switched to ignoring it completely and worshiping idols, 2 Chronicles 24, 18. God, as the jilted spouse, sent messengers who were ignored until he sent Jehoiada's son, Zechariah. Joash would have known the son of his mentor, Jehoiada, perhaps having grown up with him in the temple. The drama of his rebellion against God was put on display before the nation and recorded for posterity so we can read and learn from it. Unlike Brad and Jennifer or Johnny and Amber, it didn't just end with a formal court declaration. From the depth of his rebellion, Joash was so incensed at the audacity of Zechariah that he ordered him to be stoned. In public, in the court of the very temple where Zechariah's father had saved and raised Joash to the throne, 2 Chronicles 24, verses 19-22. Well, murder certainly complicates things. Even though he was acquitted by the jury, O.J. Simpson's life fell apart. In an even worse way, the life of Joash collapsed as he lost a battle to a small army, paid a fortune in ransom, and then was murdered by his own servants, 2 Chronicles 24, verses 23-26. Will these events teach us the folly of thinking we can betray God and get away with it? We can't, yet we keep on trying, don't we? Let's recognize the power of sin to destroy our lives and determine to remain faithful to God no matter what. If we're going to make the new cycle, let it be for our obedience and relentless determination to serve God. Thank you for watching Morning Minister in the Bible on An American Missionary. Until next time, this is James McClenney helping you have a great day.